Hey there, thinkers. Welcome back to another episode of Critical Hit. My name is S. And I'm Finn. And today we're going to review... Haunted Mansion is based on the attraction from Disney World and a remake of a 2003 movie starring Eddie Murphy. This movie was way better than I was led to believe, and I found myself enjoying parts of it quite a bit. It did have a downfall that it tried to be two different movies, but never really perfected either because of it. But overall, it was a family movie. It was fun, safe, and heartfelt. The rest of the review will contain spoilers, but don't worry. While proceeding into this haunted house may alter your perception of the movie, we won't try to steal your soul. So enter, if you dare. <laughs> The movie starts with our protagonist Ben Mathis, played by Lakeith Stanfield, and the movie sets him up as a non-believer in ghosts by portraying him as a man of science. He meets his wife-to-be, who does ghost tours for a living. Our next scene has him depressed, shortly after his wife passes, and in a bit of a rut. And I felt like they struck a pretty good balance of portraying him as a reluctant hero to the story because of it. He's likable, and he comes off as believable. Lakeith Stanfield's performance was incredible. Among a star-studded cast, he stood out and he made me feel invested in his hero's journey. The first act of the movie is about 30 to 40 minutes and sets up a pretty good premise. It's a haunted house, but with a twist. It doesn't want you to leave. We get introduced to Father Kent, played by Owen Wilson here, and the chemistry between him and the key Stanfield during this part felt natural and was actually one of my highlights of the film. I actually laughed in the theater at the Michael Jordan joke. If this kind of tone in the film was prevalent throughout, I think the movie would have been amazing. The only flaw was that this part of the movie felt maybe a little too mature for young children or almost horror light. I wouldn't say it was enough to avoid it altogether, but some scenes were genuinely bordering on spooky. The issues with this movie really start when we are finished collecting the dream team to head into the mansion. The scenes and the sets are incredible, and they actually utilize some pretty good practical effects. It's time to assemble the dream team. However, the movie starts to feel more child-themed, which isn't a terrible thing. It just felt like it worked to undo the original setup because of it. The movie felt a little disjointed and would have benefited from picking one of the two themes instead of switching. Our protagonist Ben Mathis loses that non-believer attitude, and rightly so. He sees some things that would make anyone a believer, but it feels like he forgoes all that scientific charm the movie tried to set him up with at the start. They replace it with more of a child-friendly, quirky, and slapstick character. But in a rare return to form, Disney gave him a hero's journey, and for the majority of the film, his wife's death has him portrayed as a stoic hero. I was surprised how much I appreciated seeing this again. The final parts of the movie fall into some pretty campy tropes. However, we have our hero taking on the fatherly role to act as a self-sacrifice which has some strong family trust values embedded into the themes. I was surprised to see this and honestly, this felt a whole lot like a Disney film again. It feels odd to say it, but it was heartfelt and didn't try to push any non-traditional messages on me. It wasn't perfect, but left me feeling like I enjoyed the family-friendly entertainment. The highlight of the movie was the cast. They worked very well off each other. You really felt their investment in the film. But a lot of the jokes started to become hit or miss. And if they didn't have actors with such good sense of humor and comedic timing, I really felt like the jokes would have leaned much more to the latter. I wouldn't say Disney tried anything too incredible here, but in a Hollywood landscape of message first, entertainment second we typically get, I didn't feel like that happened at all here. They wanted to entertain families and maybe push a little bit of old school corporate advertising on their ride. I know this film looks like it's going to flop and Disney isn't the most trusted name in entertainment anymore. But rest assured, if you take your children, you're not going to leave disappointed. Okay, well maybe if they release the film closer to Halloween, but I can honestly say that this was much better than the original. Color me impressed Disney, but you did it. You made a remake that was better. Well, that's our review. A little bit bad, but honestly, mostly good here. If you see this film, make sure you let us know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video. Toodles! Bye, guys.